What's up you guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Palantir stock and let's take a look at can we reach all time high again that is $27.52 on Palantir. So let's take a look at the price action, let's identify what can we be expecting out of it. Now before going further I want to let you know none of this is any financial advice and it's only for education purposes. So I start off with my bot as well actually on Palantir. So you can see my day trading bot on Palantir, net profitable. You can see the data on the left side and also today it's also a currently still open position and it's, it's still in profit. So um, yeah, good position taken today as well. We got a first sell off, but then you can see bot bought only when the uh, we had a buying confirmation. And again, there are red days as well, not hiding anything here. Net profitable is what we need to focus on. And uh, yeah, if you need access to my tools, links are in the description below this video. So that's my uh, day trading bar. Let's turn that off. Let's go to the uh, daily interval and start off there. So what I have been saying that is we are plain bullish guys. Once we got out of this level of $22.19, that was a little bit of a zone of, you know, some structural change and the resistance that we were focusing on. Once you got out of it, this is just bullish. Any pullback, I have been saying it's just a buy on this thing. And all the pullbacks that we got are just getting, you know, bought back up to the upside. Structure on Palantir is still bullish. So can we reach $27.50? Well, technically we are in that direction. The next level after breaking out of $23.96, the next significant level is $25.49. So it opens up the door to there and then after that it opens up the door to $27.50. So yes, technically we are in that direction. Technically we are bullish. So that's a possibility. Where is the structure break to the downside? Well, so if uh, here's the thing. If Palantir loses $22.91, there may be some more weakness that may come, but then you are still watching $22.19 with 20 and 50 days moving average, that could be an opportunity to maybe try to play long again there. But only if, well, that is only going to happen if we lose $22.90, otherwise, no, this is still just going, any pullback that comes until then is, it's just a buy, guys. And then there's still a buy at $22.21. Um, that was the structural change area, right? And anything above that, we are still bullish. Uh, but yeah, some at least weakness from twenty nine dollars ninety cents to twenty one uh, to twenty two dollars and sixteen cents may come if we lose twenty two dollars and ninety cents, and then we are watching that level again down there for any potential buying. Uh, let's take a look at hourly interval, and uh, yeah, so yeah, full on still bullish. We do also have a pivot on the intraday as well. Um, so, but yeah, um, this is running into recent all time. Uh, recent recent highs right um but so if any double top forms it would be here but that will only result in a pullback and any pullback in this particular case even if it 23 dollars and 42 cents that's just an intraday pullback and this may just continue higher so technically structure on palantir is still bullish at least for another uh, intraday rebound or uh, push up after the pullback to the upside so that's Palantir and guys that's pretty much it for this video not complicated easy peasy simple sim and with that I'll see my next videos guys take care bye